I need a McDonald's. Here we are, two degrees. It is bitterly cold, bitterly cold. I am meeting Sir Keith. We are going floundering. Yes, the McDonald's. Here we are, Mighty Muffin. There's not much mighty about it, is there? They're getting smaller. They are tiny. And there's Sir Keith waiting in his car. So yeah, let's go. Here we are back on the plim. We went somewhere else, but uh, the spot was taken, so we've had to move. So we're gonna fish down by the, uh, below the bridge there, by the tire center. Here we are fishing friends and welcome back to the channel. Say hello, Keith. Good afternoon. Fantastic to be out with you again, sir. How are you? So we had a cracking night the other night, didn't we, on the eels? Yep, magic. Conga fest. So we are here. Lara Bridge, the River Plim. It's a fabulous little system, the Plim. There's lots of, lots of species all through the year, but this time of year, all the thoughts turn to flounder. Now I've been out and I've had three trips now. Three trips, no flounder. So hopefully, we've come over here today and the tide's just starting to run in and hopefully we can get a nice big winter flounder. Something around the two pound mark would do me. I don't know about you, mate. Let's <laughs> no think, ideal. Let's a, think big. A flounder would be nice for me. All right, anything would be nice. All right, <laughs> half a pound flounder, yeah, please. Yeah, that'll, that'll do me. Just give us a flounder, Post, flounder gods. Postage stamp. <laughs> so, today look, I've got the, um, the pop-up flounder bass rigs in here look. so if you want to just come in a little bit closer my friend so that's the one on my website with the uh, MEP style blade which is uh, really popular the other one I've got on there has got like the twin holographic plastic blades which is out on one rod and um, that's the best seller because it's got two lots of bling on it and I've also got my that's my new flatfish bling rig it's basically the same as what's on the pop-ups but without the pop-up, if you know what I mean. So you've got nice holographic blades there, look, and a nice bit of bling on the end. Uh, 20 pound line, really simple stuff, yeah? And we've got some nice, well, it's, it's actually quite big, the rag, so it's not ideal for flounder fishing, but it's all we could get. And I've got in here, Brucey bonus, two crabs, just, just in case. Just in case, sir. <laughs> so yes, we are here. We are full of hope and vigor. It's what three degrees today in it mate but we're out we're out the Bit. wind we're around the corner and yeah we are rocking and rolling tight lines welcome along i'm the bass man sir keith is with me today as the wingman don't worry wingman's he's not disappeared he's, he's, up, he's got to work he's got to work yeah he's got to work got for a living we're, we're retired <laughs> <laughs> yes tight lines guys let's go fishing tight lines Right, we are down at the bottom of the steps and this is my flounder bass rig. So this is the Mark I, this is the, the original one which is still really popular. And this one comes with a, a proper MEP style metal blade with a proper clevis. So it spins on a little clevis there, so it's really good spinning. And there's a 1.0 Aberdeen on the, on the bottom there as well. And two 18mm uh, pop-ups and a nice light line. And uh, let's see how, it, see how it spins, shall we, in the water. There you go. One pop-up spinner rig, spinning away. Sorry, it's a bit far away. But yes, you can see it's a killer, killer rig. Obviously, the crabs can't get that. <clears throat> I have sold hundreds of these rigs over Christmas. I've got another 200 pop-ups coming from China this week hopefully because they've rocketed in price they've doubled in price but yeah this is a very important rig in your arsenal really good for bass as well but only works well in tide try and get a bit closer for you to see it very nice yeah so here we are let's so keep keep been uh <coughs> Busy, busy inventing that. Very good, mate. And you've got the holographic blades. Yep. Yeah. Give them a bit of 
Bit of slack there to... Yeah, nothing wrong with that, mate. So here we are, look, there's the rods. And I'm using my mullet gear. So I've, got, I've actually got a mullet rod out here because I'm, I'm a bit like that. But yeah, these rods are bent right over, look, because they're really light rods. And those spinners will be working away in the tide. Perfect. The water's clearing up now, it was really dirty. And there's the bridge, there's Keith's gear there, look. Yeah, cracking day. Out of the wind. Out of the wind. Unreasonable company. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, mate. Yeah, so the gear we're using today for the um, flower and fishing, really light gear, look. So this is, um, this is a VX light sport, so black rock. It's like um, you do the carp rods. So if you look at the tip, you know, it's very, you could use this for mullet fishing. It's really nice, pound and a half test. And then on the business end, I've got a two ounce powder coated weight, sand colored. And then on the bottom here, that's the, uh, that's the new bling rig that I've made. So with the twin holographic blades that spin. And it's more for flash really than the actual, be a proper spinner. And there's the ragworm there, look with the hook showing. And in the tide, you know, look, let's have a look what it looks like down here. Don't drop the camera. Here we go. Right, so there you go, that's it on the surface floating. And you can just see those blades just starting to spin a little bit. I don't know if you'll get that on the camera. A bit far away. A bit far away, I can see them. But yeah, it definitely floats, like pops right up so the crabs can't get it, saving you money. So you can go out literally with like a few quids worth of worm and have a session because the crabs just can't reach it. Yep, oh dear. God, it can't reach it. It can't reach it. It just does their heads in, man. <laughs> so yes, we are. We are going to catch a flounder, Keith. I know it. One of us is going to catch a flounder. Yes. Let's go. Come on, the flounder. Any minute. Oh. I'll lift it up mate, just 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 check it. You, you never know, it could be on there. That pull up, did that pull over then? No. Nah, nothing. Any weight? There's a bit of weight there, isn't there? Unless it's a bit of weed. I think it's a bit of weed. It's not fighting, is it? No, weed. No, lucky. Oh, right. Unlucky. And it's wrapped the other line up as well. Right? Oh. I need, I need a coffee. Cold hands. Yes, very nice. Any minute, Keith, I can feel it. Any minute, sir. Absolutely cracking, cracking day today, guys. Everybody else is working. We are fishing. Right. Here we are, Keith. Let me stand the other way because I've got the sun on me, otherwise. Oh, could be, mate. Here he comes. Yes, mate. Yes. Get the net. Must be the net, Keith. Big flounder, mate. Oh my god. See? I'm round my bloody rod. Which one? This one here. 
Right, this rod here, pass it down to me. But it's ma massive flounder, mate. Thank you. Oh, I'm in a right mess here. I think you're just gonna have to bite the bullet on that, right. aren't you? Big fish, look. Go down, mate. Come on, my beauty. That's him. Yes, mate. Got a flounder. Yeah. They do exist, mate. <laughs> oh my god, I'm shaking like mad. You put your Please. put Paul, put your rod over the top of your other line. Right, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you you put oh, your yeah. put your rod over and take it underneath. Pass your rod over your line be easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. The net's in the fish. Well, the fish is in the net. <laughs> No, put your tip down. Oh, bloody hell. Under, that's it. Yes, mate. It's still rolling. Yeah. Mind your rod on the wall. It's a nice fish. Oh, mate. I can't believe it. Yeah. I was not feeling good about this. Oh, what a beauty, mate. I'm not going to offer the help. No, 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 I'm coming up. I'm a coming, boss. Here we are, fishing the Arctic Circle, the River Plym, and the sun shines on the righteous. Hey! Let's have a look mate. Right. I have got a nice mat for this fish. Here we are sir. Look at that That mate. is some fish. Woohoo! You still rolling? Yeah. I love you mate. <laughs> what a fish, eh? Cracking fish, that is. That's a specimen and a half, that is. And that's on my um, spinner rig. This is my Christmas bling rig from last year, which did well. Um, the other ones are on sale on my website. Just the same, just different colour. Obviously, better colour bling and all that. But yes, look at that, Keith. Beautiful fish. That's a beauty, isn't it? I'm it's so... a cracking plate. Oh, of... mate, I'm so happy with that. I've been to the plim a few times. You know, not had nothing, and that, my friend, is an absolute beauty, isn't it? Cracking fish. Don't know what to say. What's mate. that? Two pound? Oh, easy. Easy? Yeah. You got your scales with it? Yes, mate. I've got my scales. The only thing is, he's deep hooked. Right. Yeah. Let's stop the video a minute, Keith, to get a picture. So here we are, what a magnificent fish. I'm absolutely buzzing with that, guys. And there's the rig. She's deep hooked, but we're gonna sort that out now, get that out, and then we'll get her back. What a fish, Keith, eh? Cracking fish. I haven't seen a flounder that size for a long time. No, mate, it's a beautiful fish. Yes, the flounder. Ha, ha, ha. It's recording. Here we are, guys. Two, eight, two, nine. Two pound nine, two pound eight, two and a half pound. No weights in there either, just the fish. Just the fish. Oh my God, two pound nine, mate. Incredible, cracking fish. Incredible, on the pop-up rig. 
They're on sale on my website, guys. I keep saying it. And thanks for supporting fishingguidesdevon.co.uk forward slash shop. In the rig shop there, there's two different pop-ups. One's got the MEPS blade like this one, and the other one's got the two plastic holographic blades. So yeah, get on them, guys. I can't make them fast enough. Thank you very much, Keith. You are a diamond. You're welcome. Let's go and put this back, shall we? Yep, if we can get him in there, but let get him wet. Okay, I'll get him back. Don't you worry about that. All I can say is, it's a good job I don't like flounder. Can you not put him in the net and get him back in the net? Yeah. Twist, the net's up here, mate. Right. The rod's still down there. Right, let's put this in the net. Now. Very dry, the fish. Oopsie. Right, there she is. Two pound nine, mate. Rolling Yep. Yeah, it's gonna need a bit of recovery time, wouldn't it? Nice bit of tide going through there now. Catch and release, that's what it's all yeah. about. Good fish care, I've got a nice mat up there on the floor. There you yes, go. Over the pipe. Woohoo! Yes, the flounder. <laughs> Two pound nine, sir. Time for a coffee. I've just had one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> grab, oh my goodness. Grab your rod, mate. Yeah. There we go, guys. That's about it from us today. Thank you very much for tuning in and thank you Keith for videoing today sir. Lovely day, thank you lovely much. weather, lovely company, and lovely flounder. A big specimen. Full of row. Two pound nine juicy fat flounder. Cracking fish. Two pound nine sir. Yes. So thanks very much for tuning in guys. Please hit the like now just before the video finishes, before you forget. Hit the like, hit the subscribe and if you want to support my channel uh, the super thanks is on you can send a super thanks or you can go to my rig shop i've already given the address a few times go to my rig shop and you can support me that way buy a few rigs yeah it's a nice one guys finally a flounder they do <laughs> exist and they are massive mate but yes we've had a really nice couple of hours here like what three hours yep one fish that's all you need one fish yeah. happy face happy face happy hands and happy fish it went back so yep. all good mate thanks very much for watching guys See you next time and tight lines.